912 right now in a news alert out of New York City. Students are being forced to learn online as nearly 2,000 migrants move into their school. Nate Foy is live in Brooklyn with the latest with what's going on. Nate, what, what can you tell us about this? Uh, well, good morning. I can tell you that a couple state assemblymen and concerned parents just spoke moments ago, and they are very upset that the students at this school, 3,600 students, are learning remotely today because of those nearly 2,000 migrants uh, that moved in last night at the city's uh, direction. Those migrants, because the weather is a bit better today uh, than it was last night, have since been moved back to their tent facility. That happened at 4.30 this morning, but the impact continues for the students today. They're learning remotely. All sports practices have been canceled. And we just heard from concerned parents saying that some teachers aren't even showing up for the remote learning sessions. So they say uh, that this really is not a situation that they're comfortable with. But take a look at this video as you see those 2,000 migrants arrive here last night. Again, it was because of bad weather threatening their nearby tent facility. The school notified parents of the students. The city writing, quote, the health and safety of migrants in our care is always a top priority, which is why we are currently overseeing the relocation of 1,900 guests from the Humanitarian Emergency Response and Relief Center at Floyd Bennett Field. That relocation is forcing students to again learn at home, a proven disaster for learning as we saw during COVID. Florida Governor and Presidential Hopeful Ron DeSantis spoke about this last night. Listen here. The city government is commandeering the school to house illegal aliens. So the migrants now are back at Floyd Bennett Field, but many are wondering uh, for how long. Of course, we're in the middle of winter here in New York City. We just had a nor'easter uh, over the weekend and harsh conditions are expected, uh, you know, throughout the winter. So people are concerned that this could happen again, not only at this school, but in other districts across New York, which is why uh, these two assemblymen who are not part of this district are here speaking today. And they say that they're drafting legislation to prevent the city from housing migrants in active schools. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says the city is full. Uh, of course, you guys are running into similar problems in Chicago. And the mayor's office says that they're considering all options here. We'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Nate. Ongoing issue there. Yep. And here, too. Okay. Let's. When I was first made aware of this, the words that came out of my mouth was this is some BS. And I'm about to say it again. This is some BS. So you have the South of the Bordarian and the not so secret invasion. And I told y'all that expect more of these type of videos to come because it's only going to get worse before it gets better. They and now we in New York. I know the last few that I've done have been in Chicago. Don't think I've been neglecting New York. It's just that a lot of the stories that get sent to me seem seemingly come from Chicago. But you have the not so secret invasion or, or the South of the Bordarian, the two nicknames that I've given them literally shoehorn their way into sleeping in these public schools or any school for that matter, wherever they can place them in New York that's causing the students that go there to revert back to 2020 when they had to do remote learning because they cannot find either space for them at the shelter or because they don't want to be there again they keep rolling out the red carpet for them every single day even down to the food they get it's almost like they get a choice in what food that they're allowed to have. This is absolutely ridiculous. Now you can see right here on your screen, it says New York City relocated nearly 2,000 migrants to. Well, I'm not going to call them migrants. I hate that they call them that because that means that, that's the illusion, not the illusion, but that's the appearance that they came here legally, which they did not. So calling them migrants is a false narrative. So it says New York City relocated nearly 2,000 SOBs to a high school to ride out the winter storm. Students attend online classes, frustrating parents and lawmakers and migrant, I'm sorry, SOBs or the not so secret invasions have been returned to the Floyd Bennett Field Shelter on Wednesday. See, that's too much shuffling around. It should not have even gotten to that point where they were even allowed to go and stay inside of a school. Remember in Chicago, they're allowing them to stay and camp out inside of an airport where a place where people are waiting to board a plane or come off of a plane. They're camped out 
side of police department stations. Now you have them camping out and nesting in schools, especially when the schools are open. It's not like the schools are closed for the summer. The schools are open and you literally forced students who have parents who are tax paying citizens to remove themselves out of the school where they're trying to get an education to go back home and do remote learning like this is the pandemic all over again. I can see why these parents are upset. I can see why the lawmakers are pissed. If I was in their position, I would be too. If I had a child that was in that same position as them, I would be up in arms. I don't like literally, I would be going through the roof in absolute madness and chaos. Again, they're going way, way, way too far with this. But we already know who to point the finger of blame at. The the government as a whole, and definitely Eric Adams as the mayor and Kathy Hochul and every all of them. They definitely play play a whole huge part in it. And don't get it twisted. So does Governor Wills and the Snowflake for sending them up here instead of them making a making them make a U-turn and go back across the border. Just so you could try to prove a point. Because at the end of the day, what's affecting them right now in New York and Chicago is going to spin the block and then start affecting them, too, if it hasn't already. And I've talked about a couple of instances down in Texas where crimes have been committed. And I'm talking about some heinous crimes from people from Venezuela down in Texas. But you don't hear Governor Wills down there talking about it. All he's doing is trying to prove a point and saying, you know what, I'm just going to send the 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 SOBs up to Chicago since they want to be a sanctuary city. So let them have at it. Then you got their constituents and their followers eating it all up. And I'm like, y'all realize that this can turn around and backfire on you. And in some cases, it actually has. So you better hope that if it hasn't touched you yet, that it doesn't, that it won't touch you. Don't think that it won't, though. Because it definitely can. But yeah, this is absolutely ridiculous. Like, you they're literally rolling out the red carpet for a group of people who should not even be here they shouldn't even be here and then when you try to ask them why are they allowing them in here they never give you an a straight up answer or response as to why it is they just ignore it and it's like okay you're going to ignore that so you know if they're going to ignore that question you know they're going to ignore with you telling them hey send them back because they're not going to do it it's a underlying reason as to why they are here. You can give out so many reasons, but I want to know the definitive reason as to why they are here. I have some theories I don't want to say, but I have. I really want to know what is their purpose for being here? Because I highly doubt it's for what they claim it's for. They claim that they're here to work and all this and a third. But has anyone seen them actually go and get a job? And the crazy part about it is it wouldn't even be hard for them to get one because they're literally steamrolling that out for them, too. Look at what's going on in California. I'm telling y'all, it's only going to get worse before it gets better.